Electronic cigarettes are growing in popularity. They're designed to help people stop smoking traditional cigarettes and contain nicotine, but not tobacco. Opinions on the health impact are split. Some argue that switching protects users from the toxins and tar contained in tobacco. But others argue that there hasn't been enough research into the potential long-term effects of the electronic products. So many health professionals have welcomed new laws to be introduced in England that will now stop the sale of e-cigarettes to under-18s. Tobacco products are already um, banned from sale to under-18s and e-cigarettes with containing the highly addictive nicotine should be considered in the same uh, legislation in the same line. Manufacturers of e-cigarettes have also welcomed the changes, saying they've always been clear their products are not for those under 18. There are to be changes in the law on the sale of normal cigarettes too, banning adults from buying them for children. Figures show 41% of 15-year-olds who smoke usually buy cigarettes from others rather than trying to get them in shops. And 95% of 11 to 15-year-olds who smoke have got somebody else to buy them at least once in the past year. We know that um, adults buying cigarettes to either sell or give to children is a major source of supply to underage smokers. So it would be a good idea to do something about that. And in principle, we support the government's move. The problem is that you actually need to make sure that it's enforced. The changes will bring the laws for tobacco in line with those for alcohol. Daniel Bircher, BBC News.